Hi, Cornerstone. It's Pastor Chris, and we're on this journey to Easter together. We're going through sort of a weird season. Uh, this morning, uh, I was able to have some meetings, and then I took off with my family and just went on a hike. It turned out to be a four-hour hike. I'm a little sore, but it was a sweet time. I hope you're taking time during this season to really come back to the preciousness of the gifts that God has given us, especially for our family and the friends around us. Uh, we're, we're moving towards this journey, and we've been talking this week about worry. Uh, when we worry, at the core, it's the inability or the unwillingness to trust that Jesus and the victory that he's given us on the cross has taken place in our life. Ouch, that kind of hurts, doesn't it? I just kind of want to be real with you, but if, if we really get to the issue of worry, the core issue, we have to admit that we just don't know if God will do what he said he will do in our lives. And so that's why Easter is so important. It reminds us of his work that he's already done on the cross for us and continues to do and ultimately will give it to us uh, in the resurrection on that last day when he returns. We worry about this idea of doubt. Uh, will the Lord protect my kids? Will the Lord protect our families? Will the Lord uh, bring healing into our world? And, and since we don't know what lies ahead, what happens is, is we have to choose to walk by faith. I think that's actually the Lord's desire for us in this life. Amen? Uh, we have to trust the Lord that he's journeyed already to the cross, that he has victory. We know the score at the end of this world, and we win. Um, except the problem is, is that we continue to worry. And so we have to remind ourselves, again, what, what has already been taking place uh, at, at the cross at that first Easter is continuing to take place in our lives. We, we rest in this present hope for the future, what Jesus has done in the past will take present in, in, in our life right now. And so uh, I just want to say this. We weren't born to be warriors. Here's what we were born to do. We were born to be warriors, warriors. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is able to be given to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Heavenly Father has our back. Do you believe that? And so eliminating worry from overtaking our lives it just takes some intentionality on our part. We have to stop the toxic, worrisome thoughts, and, and we have to stop from living the life of worry to living the life of faith, hope, and love. Uh, putting that into practice. Uh, we do this by claiming that God's truth is in our life, by trusting that faith, that, it, that, that the faith that we have for tomorrow will take place in our lives. Our God is good. And that's what we believe. He's on our side. He is steadfast. He's got the best plans laid for us ahead. And we just need to fall into that trust. That's what this journey to the cross, to, to uh, Easter, does for us. Will you choose with me to believe that God, who loved us so much, who gave us his only begotten son, uh, to die for our brokenness, to heal our pain, is the God who has us in our future? Let's not worry. Let's lean into our faith as we journey to Easter. God bless you.